Welcome back to the program. Well, it's Singapore's International Energy Week, and on the sidelines of that, Singapore has joined the International Energy Agency as an association country. It's only the fourth to do so after China, Indonesia, and Thailand. Singapore has also been making moves in the liquefied natural gas market. Pavilion Gas and Shell Eastern Petroleum have now been appointed as importers of LNG into the city-state. The two firms beat Sencorp Industries and BG Singapore Gas Marketing for the contracts to supply one million tons of LNG a year. The exclusive franchises awarded today will last for three years or when the firms reach their import quotas, depending on which one comes first. But we're coming live throughout the day from the event, and Jaredine Tan is down at the Sands Expo and Convention Center for us. Jerry, I mean, it's really all about collaboration and innovative technologies that seem to be taking center stage. Yes, indeed, Tony. Well, this innovative project sees several partners coming together to make use of niobium technology to produce this particular motorcycle, which is the one that you see in the background. Now, spearheaded by CBMM, let's speak now to its general manager, Gustavo Marcedo. Gustavo, welcome. Now, what were the challenges in coming up with a motorcycle like this, and what kind of mileage can we expect from it? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, in CBMM, we believe that collaboration is the most important tool that we can have to join forces and to bring to life ideas that are very important for the well-living of the people of this earth. <laughs> and uh, in this case, uh, CBMM as an iobium supplier joined forces with SSAB, which is a steel maker, and the College of Creative Studies from Detroit and our partner who manufactures the motorbike, which is Current Motors, to bring this idea to life. This is the first zero emission uh, cargo motorcycle available uh, that we are trying to, to bring it to, to the market. And uh, the, the Current Motors, which is our partner, helped us to develop this in many ways. One important part of the project is the container. We call it the mini fleet in a box because we have a fleet of motorbikes inside a, a container that use the solar power to charge the motorbikes the motorbikes so this container can be deployed anywhere in the world where it's needed and what kind of mileage are we looking at yeah so with one charge the motorbike can go up to 80 miles nowadays and uh, we expect of course with future developments including the possibility of using niobium batteries in the future to extend this range so it's a this is a very first prototype we are already using this in our plant facilities in brazil we have a mine operation there so we have been using this for over three years now and it's working well so far now, gustavo you mentioned markets which markets are you eyeing and do these target markets have the ability to uh, support such the infrastructure? Yeah, so Asia is, uh, of course, a very important place to be at the moment. Uh, we know that uh, the fleet of motorcycles here in the region is, is huge. But our proposal here is to have a commercial approach. So, I mean, this is a cargo motorcycle for fleets in general. So, for example, uh, companies with large sites or governments or management of cities in general can make use of this uh, technology to benefit and, and, and use their, these facilities for their benefit as well. So. Gustavo, the million dollar question, how much? As this is the a, a prototype, we are still working all the possibilities in the supply chain and the, the supplier of this motorbike will be Current Motors, which is our partner. So I'm sure that as soon as we have a right proposal on how to bring this to the market and all the, uh, the, the part suppliers and all the needs we, we have for for this motorbike to be built, we'll have a better idea on how much can we can we sell this to the market. But it's not yet a commercial product. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Gustavo. Well, I've been speaking to Gustavo Mercedo from uh, CBMM. And if you'd like to have a look at this motorcycle, as well as the solar power stations, you can have a look at them at the Marina Bay uh, Expo Square. And they'll be available from now till the 28th of October. I'm Jeremy Tan, and back to you, Tony. All right, thanks, Jerry. Not just cutting down on pollution, but also maybe noise pollution as well. We'll check in with you a little bit later. All right, that's going to do it for your business updates this hour. Christine, back to you. Thanks, Alex.